Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is Nicole and I talk about everything Korean skincare and skincare education. So if you'd like to see more of that, definitely subscribe. So today we are going to be talking about my two favorite fragrance-free Korean skincare facial oils. I have a blog post on this that I will link below and today is a two minute skincare video. So when I talk about all of this stuff, it's going to be under two minutes. So everyone's skin has something called a lipid barrier and this is just an outer layer that is made up of oils. Now our lipid barriers can get damaged because of breakouts like acne, eczema, rosacea, things like that. And even if you have oily skin, sometimes your lipid barrier could be damaged and that is the reason why your skin is overproducing an oil. So no matter what skin type you have, oil can be a positive thing to put into your routine. The thing with facial oils is that a lot of companies like to shove in synthetic and natural fragrances into the oil, but what we've learned about fragrance, especially in the past video that I just posted, and I'll link that above, is that fragrance, synthetic or natural, is not good for the skin. Even your favorite essential oils are not safe to put on the skin. Even if they're at the bottom of your ingredient list, you really should avoid using them because they can really sensitize and irritate the skin. When you look your oils, the one good thing that you should know is the oleic and linoleic ratios. When an oil has a higher linoleic ratio, this usually gives you a drier feeling oil, a more matte feeling oil. When an oil has a high oleic ratio, this usually means that the oil is going to be a bit thicker, a little bit more sticky depending on how intense that might be. But oils have both a linoleic and oleic concentration within them. It's just a matter of the ratio that helps you to determine what oil might be better for your skin. So an oil with a higher oleic ratio might be best for dry skin type, where an oil with a linoleic or a higher linoleic ratio might be best for those with acne prone skin that have oily skin as well. So the first oil I wanna talk about is this fragrance free Peach and Lily Pure Bean Lux oil. I love this one because it has a balance of both oils with high linoleic ratios and oils with high oleic ratios. So it kind of creates this perfectly balanced oil that's not too thick but not too thin. This oil soaks into the skin very quickly and a lot of the oils in here contain antibacterial properties which is really beneficial for those of you who have acne prone skin. The three oils that I really like like in here are squalane oil, grape seed oil, and Camilla Japonica seed oil. The next oil I have is the Oliverier 100% squalane fluid oil. This one is great because it contains pure squalane oil, and squalane oil has a high linoleic acid ratio, so it tends to be a bit on the thinner matte side. It just gives you that very dry oil feeling. It's hard to explain unless you feel it yourself. But what I love about squalane is that it's very versatile. It's perfect for oily skin types because it's not overbearing since it has a high linoleic ratio so it creates a thinner and more light feeling oil but it also has very great cell regenerative properties so it's really good for people who have a damaged skin barrier and I really love using it for my skin and I find it perfect for dry skin because it's not overwhelming and I love it because of those cell regenerative properties and the anti-inflammation properties. All right, so make sure you click on these two videos in the end screen and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mom.